in this study I try to explain what managers do as they learn with and from their supply network. Um, when managers try to create and shape new network architectures that frame and innovate their own market offerings, they face three key challenges. Uh, one, what kind of changes should they make to their network architecture? So should they be outsourcing, strategic sourcing partners or developing new supplier relationships or um, improvement initiatives? Two, thinking about how they might make these changes, so planning, identifying which suppliers to work with. And three, thinking about how they make the relationship work for all the firms involved in the network. This process necessitates the unfolding adaption and ad adaptation and adoption of new practices as managers learn what works best. While we know quite a lot about learning within organisations, we know much less about learning between organisations and across organisational boundaries. So we need to think about ways that we can make work, learning work effectively in ways that make the network architecture both productive and effective. My research takes a micro-level approach to explore the shared learning that came out of the spaces in between organisations and the way it helped them develop the supply network. What I found interesting in the study is the way that actors worked out between themselves the shared learning capabilities that the members of the network needed in order to constantly improve and grow their business. These four capabilities emerged as distinctive forms of shared learning. So they related to how the business relationships were managed, how the customer values, which were constantly needing to be re-evaluated, changed through time, and how firm boundaries were established, stabilised. And finally, the more macro understanding of how the network architecture worked as a whole. So uh, this was thinking about uh, the notion of working beyond the boundaries of the single B2B relationship and to the wider reconceptualization and re-evaluation of the network itself. This fits into a larger stream of work about how management practices and learning shape the way markets uh, are formed as they act in and on markets. <laughs>